This is our service for Ash Wednesday, February 17, 2021, while we are still under pandemic restrictions. We're able to get together by this way on YouTube and through the electronics, even though we cannot get together in person. But we are still a community of God's people, doing what we can to be in community. Ash Wednesday is the first day of the season of Lent. It's a time for preparation and anticipation of the Holy Week and the Easter event. We are called to this time of self-examination, prayer, fasting and introspection, and perhaps other spiritual practices that you will do yourself in this journey of the 40 days to Easter. It's a time when we reflect on what we need to change in our lives in order to live responsibly and lovingly as members of God's created world. I hope you'll join me for all of the services, the special services that we will do during this time, as we look more deeply at the observance of Lent over these 40 days. Take this fearless moral, moral inventory of our lives and look for ways to find more love, more peace and fulfillment in our lives. I certainly look forward to making this journey with you. This service for Ash Wednesday is largely adapted from a resource that I found on the Presbyterian Church of Canada's website. I open with this scripture from Psalm number 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise, for you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. We bless the Lord and his holy name. We remember all God's blessings and his forgiveness of all of our sins, and he heals our infirmities. O Lord, you redeem us from our life, you redeem our life from the grave, and crown us with mercy and loving kindness. So we gather in humble gratitude to offer God our prayer and praise. I'm going to sing one of our beloved hymns of this season. If you have your hymn books, it's number 238, Beneath the Cross of Jesus. Perhaps you even know these words without having to have them in front of you. Beneath the cross of Jesus, I fain would take my stand. The Oh. 
pray and let us confess light of true light truth of deepest truth we find peace in your perfection we find courage in your strength we find wisdom in your truth we find hope in your presence you are our beginning and our end the first and the last the forgiver and redeemer of all things with humble hearts we worship you Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, our Creator, Redeemer, and Guide, one God, now and forever. Loving and everlasting God, nothing is beyond the reach of your love. You offer forgiveness to all who turn to you in confession. So we pray together. Forgive us the words we failed to speak, the words we should not have spoken. Forgive us the good we failed to do and the evil we have done. Forgive us the love we refused to offer and the grudges we have held on to. Create in us clean hearts, O Lord. Forgive our past failures. Amend who we are and direct whom you would have us become through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And I offer, or God offers, pardon to all. There is the assurance of that. And the assurance of our pardon is visualized very much in the images of our own baptisms. So I say to you, hear and believe. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Know that God has forgiven you. And so forgive one another. I would read a passage of scripture from Joel chapter 2 verses 1 to 2 and then 12 to 17. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like blackness spread upon the mountains. A great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether we will not turn and relent he, and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room in the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests the ministers of the Lord weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the people, Where is your God? 
My friends, the early followers of Jesus observed the days of Jesus' passion and resurrection with various acts of devotion. It became their custom to prepare for the celebration of the great mystery of our faith with a season of prayer, contemplation, and fasting. Let us begin our observance of Lent with self-examination and repentance. Then let, let us continue through the season with prayer and fasting, reading and meditating on God's words. Look at these that I have brought with me to this service. These are the palm fronds of previous year's Palm Sunday parades that we have had here at Gale. They have been kept over the years specifically to be consumed for this purpose, to become a reminder to us as they symbolize our humility before God and our recognition that we are mortal. Having been used for the celebration of a palm parade, we see that even these beautiful things do die. They dry and they return to dust, as we do. I wish us to contemplate and think on these things in a few moments of silence. These are the ashes that can be put on our forehead. As I have been pre-recording this service, these ashes are available to members of the congregation if they wish to come and pick some up this week before the Ash Wednesday service. But also, I have been given a request from one of the uh, retirement and nursing homes in the city that if they could get a hold of some ashes for their own personal um, Ash Wednesday service at, at the home. And so these ashes are going to go there as well. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created us from the dust of the earth. So let these ashes be a sign of our mortality, penitence, and humility. May we remember it is only by your grace and love that we receive everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Holy God, calm our hearts and our minds and create a quiet space within us where our spirits can attend to your word. Through the work of your spirit, may we see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly. Amen. I will sing another song again. The words may be familiar because we've done it frequently here. We've done it frequently here because I just love the song. Comes, the words come from Psalm 51, and they've already been used a few times in this service. Create in me a clean heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me.
Again, we pray. Holy and merciful God, we confess that the world is not as you created it to be. Hear our prayers for the world and for one another. Our love is imperfect and often fails. Help us to love you with heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We have been deaf to your call to serve. Strengthen us to be of service to those in need that all people hear your call to join in building your kingdom of grace among us. In our lives, anger, pride, hypocrisy, and impatience hinder the life-giving relationships we long for. Restore our broken souls and mend our suffering world. All around us, self-indulgence, envy, and greed lead to the exploitation of others. Open our eyes to the impact of our desires on the earth and all its peoples. All around us, fear, prejudice, and contempt for others degrade human life. Stir our hearts with your spirit so that we can see that all humanity is created in your image. All around us, waste and pollution destroy your creation. Awaken us to the serious consequences of our actions. Move in us by your spirit to make us better stewards of the earth, which is precious to all. These things we pray in the name of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend, and we use his words. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our benediction. The loving God hates nothing that he has made. He forgives our sins. He has made us for his glory, and our hearts are restless until we rest in him. Let us strive to return to his way and work to create in us new hearts so that we may love him more dearly and follow him more nearly. We go into this Lent season with God. Amen. Mm -hmm.